A lot of people like to think they're in charge of their heart. People like to think they're in charge of their cat. I know better. Cats rule everything around me. That's a, okay, so if I, the only job I would take is if I had to work for a cat. I had some sort of set of implicit tasks and then the cat wired me money. I also like to, how much, how much are you thinking? If it, honestly, if a cat's paying me and I get to walk around and tell the people that I make my living working for a cat, I'd, I'd take a significant pay cut. And I learned to, actually, I learned to paint painting houses for my slum load in Cincinnati. Ray Ritchie. You stop like this, Ray Ritchie. You get up there, you paint the roof, and don't come down until you're done painting the roof. Drucker, Drucker, get on the roof. I started just navigating intense aggressions of the male urban environment. And, uh, you know, for me, it was just about being myself and killing it. And once I got, I started to get so high off rapping. It's just like so much better than anything I'd ever experienced. That was the first openness I ever felt. And then that led to meeting less and less violent rap cohorts more and more creative people, and then I started to meet self-taught musicians when I moved to Berkeley, California. And then a friend of mine, Odd Nostom, painted and did Photoshop art, and he did all the album art for his work, and I was like, oh, that's so dope. You finish a whole record, and then you know what you want to cover, and you make it. And then I got obsessed with that, and I sort of taught myself to paint and do other shit. We have the man-eating buffalo, which should be on the new penny. If we do a new penny, it should be a buffalo eating a human being. Uh, this is my two-headed shark, which is my favorite new animal uh, on planet Earth. You know, pollution is, uh, we're ruining the ozone and all these other things, but at least we're making two-headed sharks. This is one of the ones that got away from me. It is some kind of uh, battle chicken. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure what I was going for, but this is one of the few that I didn't know. Uh, where it started or ended, and this is my off-brand Snaggy. And uh, Snaggy is the spirit animal of the Meow Wall. It's interesting, you can actually fuck with the timing too a little bit. You ain't gonna do it without your fez on, oh no. Uh, never been a mason, don't really wanna be, but... They're dead. Nobody's scared of Masons anymore. They're scared of presidents. You're touching the art and it's behind the walls, altering music in a simple way. So we started there and it was like the simplest idea we had about how to bring something to life and not burden a human being with technology. I'm, I'm, it's probably 80% I'm wrong. So I start and it's the first stab is just that. It's only a first stab. So I knew that was going to be the case and I just came in and let everyone make more of what I was thinking, and it's perfect, man. Kept me inspired, too. We have developed speed, and we have shut ourselves in. Machine with its abundance has left us in want. Our knowledge has made us cynical, our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much, we feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. Without these qualities, life will be violent. No one will be lost. At the end of the day, what was uh, the positive about the loss from Ghost Ship is that it just reminds you how much you have in common with people like us. And unites a scene that isn't necessarily political. Everyone's about making their art and loving each other's art and being inspired. And I don't think we really represent ourselves in society. It's just difficult to do so. If you don't really believe in something, it doesn't entirely support you. How do you participate in it? And so we choose to live private lives and make things, and the Meow Wolf is really a incredible, lucky, and complicated, and worked for exhibition in like good things happening to good people. Where's he gonna be back? 24. Back the whole week running up, Ash will fly out, we'll over there, and then we'll show, and then we'll party. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye,
Yeah, I'll see you in a week. Yeah, for sure. Really good shit. Yeah, I will. Chris Brodsky. I gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> See you guys.